I say goodbye this evening after nearly 35 years here at Channel 8, and I thank you for inviting me into your home. I will miss our Friday visits about character, its disappearance in our world. For me, what will always matter most are children, our future. They look to us for leadership. They don't need advice, they need examples. Not 40 and 50 year olds who dress and act like 13th graders, but real grown-ups who understand the importance of working hard, raising children in committed relationships, keeping promises. Your race, your religion, gender, they don't really matter to me. Children are always watching all of us, observing how we interact, handle life's challenges, and based on those observations, deciding how they should behave. The wisest kids know it is almost always better to observe than to be observed, but that's not easy in a world where they see all the adults trading threats and insults in tweets and posts. And we in the media, we haven't helped much, focusing on getting it first rather than getting it right. Social media showed some promise, the one place, the one campfire around which our diverse society could gather and identify some common ground, but that didn't last. We seem to be fraying at the edges, and it will get worse until we muster the courage to ignore those who hope to keep us confused and divided and disinterested in identifying the ties that bind us. Come Monday, I'll be home with you, probably throwing things at the television when I hear something I don't like, but also searching for that common ground, that evidence of character. Those people who believe if you really do want to lead the orchestra, first you have to turn your back on the crowd. You can add your comments on Facebook. Look for WFAA. Thank you, John. I'm going to miss these. And join us at 10 tonight as we continue to celebrate John. There's also an after party on our WFAA Facebook page at 1030 right after the news ends.